Have you guys heard that Kittle just came out with some brand new updates? They have literally changed the game for 2025. They've updated their platform, they've added some new features, and of course they have redesigned the way you design. So it's not just for graphic designers, it's not just for professionals, but it's literally for the everyday creative. They've made it more efficient, and I'm going to show you exactly some of the things that's changed around. If you have or have not been on the Kittle platform lately, you might or might not know that things have moved around a little bit things are a little bit different so i'm gonna jump in i'm gonna show you all the latest updates that they've made and they have some more coming out so now without further ado before i jump into the video today i do have a special promo code for you that will be linked down below in the description box if you are interested where you can save 25 percent off for your very first month but now i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna show you some of the latest new features with kittle so that way you can see what you've been missing out on let's go ahead and get into it so when you come onto the kittle website the interface now looks a little bit different. Some things are shifted around. As you can see on the left hand side, this is where you have like the menus tab. Right away at the top, you have all of your projects and then you have all the trending templates and then you have your tools. So it looks completely different. But I'm just gonna switch it up just a little bit because I actually wanna switch it to the dark mode. Looks a little bit better like that. So I switched it to the dark mode. You can keep it on white if you like, but I like this better. So as you come onto the Kittle website, the first thing you might notice is that it looks completely different. Now mine is in dark mode, but you can automatically switch that back to the, the daytime mode where it's a white background, but I like the way this looks better. It looks a little sleeker. So now all of your projects or your profile, everything is on the main home page, which I like because I didn't really like going back and forth if I was in a project and I wanted to go back out to find a template or something like that. So now everything is more cohesive and it flows. So over on the left hand corner, Corner, you have your left panel with all the different templates your tools um, you have your profile you can get to all of that and access all your settings right there so right on the home page right at the top I have all of my recent projects that I've worked on that I've done already and you can even start a new project from right at the top right below that you have all the trending templates you have your tools so you can search various templates right from here everything is together so I really like that so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna open up a project that I've already done or we can open up an existing one and I'm just going to show you some of the new features that Kittle has rolled out. So I have this image that I uploaded from previous before that I made right here inside of Kittle AI right over here on the left hand corner. Let's go ahead and dive into some of these new updates that they have. So at the bottom of the artboard right here, this used to be at the top. Now it's at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on a drop down. You can Add in some shapes. You have the rectangle, you have the ellipse, you have the polygon, and you have the star. So let's go ahead and add a rectangle to the artboard. All right, so I have my rectangle right here. Let's just go ahead and move it out, expand it. And now if I wanted to, you see these points? Now I can manipulate it and I can bring it in. I can curve it. I love this. I can even do just one side if I want. I can do another side. I don't have to keep it the same. So I can bring it in. I can manipulate it however I want. So let's go ahead and bring this one back out. So now I have the square with nice rounded corners. So now if I wanna change the color of the square, which I do, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna change the color. Let's just change it to blue. So now that I've changed the color, I wanna put this behind the image. So now I'm gonna come over to my left hand side and this is the little layers panel right here. And I'm going to now move this and drag this behind. So now I have the blue background behind this. Now let's say if I wanted to bring in something else, all right? I'm gonna show you, that's one of the new features. So now let's say I want to bring in an element. So now I'm gonna go to my elements tab and I'm gonna bring in an element, which is right over here. And let's just say I wanna add in a sun. So let's type in sun and let's bring in a sun. We got a nice little sun for a nice sunny beach day. So I got a nice sun here. But now let's say I've created whatever the images are, Okay, so now we got some clouds up here. Let's make this image just a little bit smaller. Okay, let's make this white. So I'm gonna change the color. Let's just say 
for demo purposes, I want it to only export one image. So, you know, typically before, if you wanted to download the image, everything would download at once. But now Kittle has upgraded and now you can download just a single image in a PNG file. So if I click on this image, now I have the option to export just this one single image out of the whole entire picture. So I can download it in PNG form or JPEG and I can export it just like that. I can export only the, the cloud if I want or I can export just the sun or you can export everything. But before you couldn't do that. So I'm so glad about this upgraded feature right here. Now another new feature, another new update that has rolled out that I am really excited for. If you click on the image, the bar comes up at the top again and right here at the star you have the Kittle Copilot. So if you click on that, now you have the option to restyle, replace the image. You can um, erase certain things, but you can restyle the image if you want to keep it like in the same category. So let's check this out. So let's say we want to restyle it. Um, um, right now it's on medium the strength so let's take it to high so I want to add a vintage look so I'm going to and I put it on high so let's see I'm gonna click I didn't spell vintage right all right so let's go back I'm going to type in vintage to make her look vintage all right so I'm gonna click generate all right, so it took the same exact image and now it gave me a vintage feel. I love that. So of course it's more black and white and I did it with the high. It's still in a beta testing form it says, but look at that. So down here you do have some suggestions that you can use already and you can see if you want. So let's click on this. This one gives me so I clicked on suggestions. It gave me a replacement. So a girl in a chair, it did that for me. I can replace it with this. Oh, I really like that. So it will give you some examples, replacements down here at the bottom as well. So you can use those or you can type in what you want it to do. Um, we can also change the opacity. You can switch the style. You can replace the image with something else. You can, there's so many different new things that you can do based off of one image. If you want it to switch it, it also has an erase tools. So if I wanted to erase like the dots over here, the circles, I didn't like that. I can definitely come in here and I can erase all of that. So that way I'm left with just the girl. So this is really cool. So I love that feature. If I wanted to erase like her pen, out of her hand try to get it as close as I can I can erase that just like that and then I can click done how about that all right so loving the new Kittle Copilot where you can replace you can change up the style all right let's keep rocking and rolling so that way I can show you what else Kittle has that just came out all right so another feature that Kittle has if you come over to the left hand menu and you go under the view really huge, really big. You can turn on rulers and guides and you can snap them down. This is especially great if you need your text, everything centered. If you want to make sure you're staying within the margins, within the borders. So I can just bring this over. So that way, if I did not want to go outside my margins, I can bring over a second one. So let's just say I want to make sure that I don't exceed the margins. So now when I stretch it out, I want to make sure I stay within those guides. It's going to snap to the side just like that. So I can make sure that I'm staying within my, my margins and my templates that ever I set. So if you're doing any type of templates and you want to make sure that you have your margins, everything set, you can definitely turn on the rulers and the guides. And you can also turn on the grids. So you have grids where you can make sure you line things up specifically. If you want to stay within a certain grid pattern or if you want to stay within a certain dimension, you can definitely turn on and off the grid by toggling and you can also turn on your margin. So another feature that they have is the full brand kit. So now you can have full management for your logos, fonts, colors, all in one place where you can design, create mockups. You can organize all your brand assets in one thing, store everything in one place for consistency across all of your projects. This definitely simplifies your workplace and it makes everything easy, accessible for you. So I'm just going to grab this and as you can see, I'm going to erase this out. I'm going to click done. So now this is what I'm going to use for 
my brand, Grace and Mercy. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click on mock-up. So now they have so many different mock-ups available. My image is right here. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just going to expand that and I can put it right on my mock-up. I'm just gonna search t-shirts. I'm going to open up and I'm going to expand the t-shirt and here you have an array of t-shirt mock-ups that you can choose from. I'm going to make that bigger and I really love the way that the image, whatever your image is, it curves to the actual mock-up. So as you see, this one is slightly curved as opposed to this one is a little bit more straighter. And now this one definitely is on an angle on a curve so that way it can realistically look like it's on the shirt like right up there somewhere so now you can see it from the side then you would come over here and you would just download it on the right hand side you can download it just like that you can also change the color now of course now this isn't a png image i thought it was so now you're actually seeing what i erased so i should have had a png image but if you want to change the color of the shirt you could you could definitely do that right here i can remove the background right here with one click of a button and now i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to click mock up again and let's just see let's change the color of the shirt to make it just a little bit darker there we go and now you can see the black PNG image. So I removed the background and now I have my logo looking really nice on the shirt. So definitely come in here and take a look at all the different mock-ups that Kittle has because they offer a variety of mock-ups in different styles, different um, backgrounds that you can use for your business and they are specifically exclusive to Kittle. All right, so I'm just gonna move this up there. Now check out this other cool feature that they have with the shapes. So you can add shapes. I'm gonna add a star gonna add a star gonna just enlarge that and then I'm gonna add a second shape I'm just gonna use a polygon and then I'm gonna add a polygon and I'm gonna enlarge this now you have this new feature where you can manipulate and make your own custom shapes right so let's just say if I wanted to merge these two together and I just for whatever the reason wanted my shape to be like this right I'm gonna select both of them and over in the right hand corner and you can also bring the opacity down so that way you can see like both shapes at the same time but right below that you have a shape builder tool so I can click the shape builder um, the first one is gonna be union meaning I can merge them all together so now everything interlocks and I can move it together as one so now I have this weird weird monster type shape with arms and a head um, but I can also so if I don't want to merge them together I can also subtract so I can subtract and the one that is on top is gonna to subtract from the back so now I'm just left with like the side arms okay I'm gonna go back and I can also now intersect so I can intersect and it's going to take away all of the outside parts and just keep the parts that's inside then you still have these points right so with the points you can still manipulate the points and stretch them out so let's just say for example I wanted to maneuver it I can curve my edges so I can still manipulate the points, bring them in, look at that. Oh, it looks like a little ghost. So I can still manipulate my points and create you know, a different shape, something unique and something custom. Okay, so if I don't wanna do that, the last option, I'm gonna go back. Okay, so now I'm back to my original shape. So again, we have the union, we have the subtract, we have the intersect, and the last one is exclude intersection. So now I can exclude the intersection. I should, probably should have picked a better shape, but you get the concept, you get the idea. You can really come in here and create something custom, something unique, and you can add words in the middle if this is the shape that you desire. It's a really, really cool feature that you should definitely come in here and check out, but I'm just testing it out and just play with it. And you can use this for any type of shape so it's a really cool feature and definitely something new that they've added and I really like it they also have a new feature now where you can collaborate in real time and scale your effort with teams so you and your team can create professional quality designs together with real-time collaborations and a scalable workflow so that means you all can edit together like if someone doesn't like something right away in real time they can say yay or nay you can also you know put your ideas together to create the perfect 
product. All right, so this is why designers love Kittle because this is a new feature that is awesome and they're still evolving and adding more new features. So you definitely wanna check this out if you have a team of people where you all like to collaborate and create together. So this is perfect for that. Now, if you do not have Kittle already and you're interested in learning more, you can definitely try Kittle for free. This is everything that you get. You can do five projects, you get 20 AI credits, so on and so forth. Or you can upgrade to the pro plan where it's $10 a month and you get 50 projects, 20 AI credits. Come on here, check it out to see which plan is for you. I personally use the expert plan because I really love Kittle. So like I said, you can choose whichever plan is best for you, see which one fits your needs. And if you're interested in Kittle, the link will be down below in the description box and you can try it out for free. That's it for today's video. Again, I will definitely keep you guys updated on all the new features that's coming out with Kittle. And if you are interested in signing up, you'll get to save 25% off if you use my special code down below as a thanks to me. You'll get 25% off your very first month with Kittle. So that link is going to be down below in the description box. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. See you later. Love you. Bye.